take 511. Anyway, um, hey everybody, it's Roche Ball, you guys. I'm at work super early. It is like 3.05, almost 3.05, and usually I don't leave the house until 3, and I get here like at 3.40, and then I usually sit in front of the office where I clock in at and just <clears throat> prepare my attitude and everything for my shift for that night, and I just close my eyes and listen to me and just like have my sunglasses <clears throat> watching walkers and stuff like that, walk by, whatever go to their office, go home, go to the next class, whatever. But I decided to leave the house early because I plan on getting my nails done today. You like them? I didn't get them done today because I try to go over there by, it's a place called Carmela's out here in the Valley, and their their hospitality sucks. They do a good job with your nails and your feet, eyebrows, everything, but their hospitality sucks. I could walk in and look at people and they'll look right at me and they'll just keep on doing their clients. Nobody says, hi, what you need? Nothing, honey, no, nothing. They don't say that. I'm thinking, wow, thanks. So I went in there today and I was like, hello, yay, I'm here. Nobody said anything. Nobody even approached me and said, hi, what you need? Okay, five minutes, whatever. So I just got up and left. And I'll be going back to my place that's closer by where I live. Because at least they say, hi, honey, what you need? At least they let me know. At least it'll make me feel welcome. Whatever. But that's not what this video is about. Actually, I just came back from Vaughn's getting this. Because, you guys, I'm not trying to be gross, but this helps me go to the bathroom. This and Raisin Bran and Frosted Mini Weights, they help me go to the bathroom. Because I'm not regular. And a lot of times when you're on this exercise health kick, a lot of times you eat certain things that just make you go to the bathroom. And all of a sudden, for some reason, I just couldn't go. Okay? So this helps me, boo-boo. not trying to be gross. So, back to what this video is originally about. So, I decided to wait by a Pollo Loco by my job, and I got on this lift, in this lift. I'm going to say his name because he deserved to be lifted. Well, he deserved for all lift drivers, lift riders to tip him. His name is Joseph Michael, okay? And... I don't know if he was Korean or Filipino. I don't I don't know. It's just something about those Philippians. I just Now usually I like white men, you know what I mean? Cuz white chocolate is my alma mater. But those Philippians, whew, lately they've been really I think he was Philippian, you know. I don't know, but he was really good looking. I don't know if he was Korean or Philippian, but anyway. Um, but anyway, he was nice. He just started working. I told him I'm just now going to work too. He was like, so I said, I'm trying to take advantage of my day, you know, the free time that I have during the day before school starts. He goes, yeah, that's the spirit. I'm like, you're so fine. Uh-oh. He looked like Shorty from Indiana Jones. <laughs> he was so cute. And usually, I don't have nothing against Philippians. I don't really go for Philippians because they never go for me. But this one was kind of cute. So, yeah, he got five stars, and I was going to write a comment saying he's sexy as fuck. But I didn't want to do that, you know. He's a Philippian. I don't want to be uh, mean towards them or um, say anything that's inappropriate out of line towards them. He's a Philippian. He has to be respected, whatever. Anyway, he was really good looking. And his car was nice and well air-conditioned. Air it smelled great. It smelled like fresh just opened out of fresh out of the box undipped in milk graham crackers that's what his car smelled like and it's been a long time and a fresh fresher breath breath of fresh air or a breath of fresh fresh air it's been a while since i've been in a lift car that actually smells good i usually when i have a woman driver their car smells good but some men driver they don't know the meaning of water or soap so um you know, and, and there, there are things you can do to wash up if you don't have soap. There's baking soda and stuff and dishwashing liquid if you must, but and if you musty. But I um, I, I just got into his car and I was like, hey, Roche. Yeah, it's Roche. And he goes, yeah. I go, hi, Joseph Michael. And he goes, yeah, you know. So I look for the license plate. Okay, that's right. And I go in the car. And, oh, my gosh, this guy was just like, I kept looking at him. He had hair, like, all the way down, like, right here. Almost the length of Michael Jackson's. And he had a dimple, and he had kind of like a, a nice button nose, and he had a dimple, and his eyes were like, his eyebrows needed to be done, but that's okay, you know. And then I was just like, oh, my gosh, his car smells so good. So I turned off my music just to hear the vibe of whatever music he was listening to. 
I don't know what the hell he was listening to because I never heard that shit before in my life. And I was like, let's not talk about me having bad taste in music. Gosh, because this Philippian had a horrible music playing in his car. But anyway, the fresh graham cracker smell in his car, I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it was the best smell ever. And I haven't had graham crackers in a long time. I started to get me a box. But he was a very nice driver. He was just, he let me know too, because some, some Lyft drivers don't like conversation. I don't, especially when I have my earphones. Because when I have my earphones, I'm kind of vibing out to my own music. You know, I'm nice. Hey, you know, thank you for the ride after, I, after they dropped me off. But I don't like having no long conversation with people in lift cars. I don't. I just, I'm like, mm, okay, you know. And they're like, so how was your day? And I take off my earphones. I'd be like, it was great, thanks. How was yours? That's me. I'm sorry, it is. It's mean, but it is. But for some reason, it's like, when I first got into this guy's car, I'm just sitting there like, oh, my gosh, this graham cracker smell is enough in everything I need in life right now. And... So I decided to take out my earphones and I said, so, because I was listening to Don't Talk by the, by, by, by the Beach Boys. Oh my gosh, I like that song. And he was just like, I was just like, he was just quiet, you know, his chill vibe, because he told me he just started work, so right now he's on that chill vibe, like, not talking, I get it. But like a dumbass, I didn't get it. And I said, I know what you mean, you know what I mean, because I'm just not going to work too. So I decided to say, so how's your day been going? He goes, oh, you know, I'm just starting. I said, yeah, me too. You know, I had to peel myself out of bed and be like, well, let's go to work. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so everything was just like tubular, dude. And then I was just like, um, sorry, everybody. I'm feeling just a little discomfort because I shaved. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, oh, he was everything. This Philippian was so fine. Oh, he was so fine, curly. Anyway, and I'm just like, so I said, so when I got the car, I was like, yeah. He's like, you have a nice day. I said, you too. Thanks, man. And I'm like, what the fuck did I say man for? That's the ultimate friend zone thing. Not just the kiss on the forehead, but when you look at somebody and you say, oh. Sorry, y'all. I got plucked the beep off. Anyway, let me hear me finish this video before I get plucked off again. But I said, when I left this car, I was like, thanks, man. Have a nice, you too. Have a nice day, man. I was like, what the heck did I say man for? I should have said, bye, daddy. See you in heaven, you Philippian priestess or whatever. But I didn't say that. I said, oh, you too, man. Like, we're not buddies. I, I kind of was hoping, you know, you would, like, be my man or something. But anyway, that's what happened. And so I dream of the Lyft driver every day. I mean, he got five stars too, okay? I hope I got five stars. Because I didn't know until a couple of months ago, like earlier this year, that we get rated too. So I want to make sure I be like, hey, you know, hi. So they can say, oh, I love picking up Roche. She, she's a really quiet driver, you know? And I don't ever, I never thought, like I was watching Stuber and I was watching little, um, little promos, whatever they did before the movie actually came out with the stars of Stuber. And they were just saying that when they when they offer you some type of things in their car, it's because they're expecting something. I think they do it just to get tipped. That's the only thing they should be expecting. So if I take a potato chip bag from your car or a bottle of water, I'm going to tip you. So that's, you know, I'm paying money to get in your car, so that's even, you know. And then if I take one of your chips, I tip you. That's even. Boom. So what else are you expecting? But this Uber driver was everything. I don't mean to sound crazy, but I hope he picks me up again. So when I get in the car, he can look back with that dimple and I'll be like, how's it going? That's what I'm going to do next time. Not for I ain't going to do that. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Okay, I know it was a mess, but that Philippian was so fine. He could have been Korean too, I don't know. But he was fine, okay? He was fine.